Hey guys, we're going to talk a little bit more about electric furnaces and electric heat. One of the things I run into quite a bit is this is actually a heater out of a Goodman air handler, but the setup is very similar to an electric furnace. You might have a panel with a blower relay. All the controls are on one panel instead of having just this one panel for the heating controls. There'll be controls like the transformer, the blower relay, and that good stuff on an electric furnace. I want to talk about low airflow in electric furnace and how to spot it. And it's pretty easy to spot when you're dealing with resistance heat. Typically you'll have between two, three, and four banks of heating elements. You see the one here, the two here. And on electric furnace where electric heat is the sole source of heat, keeping in mind that this is in an air handler which typically has a heat pump attached to it in the milder climates, maybe in the extreme south like Florida, southern Texas, you might have electric heat only. But up here in North Carolina, electric heat is usually a secondary source of heat or second stage. Whenever I come up to one of these furnaces especially, it's not heating as well as it could. They say it's not heating as well as it did in the past. I'll come up to it and you can let it run and without even putting any clamps or voltage testers on it, you might hear the subtle clicks. There might be a click and a click, and it could be different elements that are clicking. And what's happening, if there is in fact low airflow, is you'll hear these, these limit switches click off and on, off and on. And once you think you've heard the limit switches, you know it's a subtle tick like a thermostat might make. A lot of you guys have heard them before. Not a very loud, but you might hear it over and over again. I've seen a lot of electric furnaces that are paired up with three ton heat pumps or three ton condensers and in the winter time when it's running you know you'll have like seven or eight hundred CFM because these things are allowed to get horribly dirty uh, whenever the blowers are changed out the improper motors are installed just overall you know as it gets older and dirtier and slower as far as airflow you'll start hearing that click 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 over and over again now what you can do is one of two things is how I test which element it's happening on. You get your amp clamp, which is the Amp Probe ACD4. Set it to amps, and I have the wires unplugged right now for our previous video, but there'll be wires plugged into these elements. One here, one here. You'll clamp the wires, and let's have a little example of them so we can. Like you have wires going to the elements, you go ahead and clamp those wires and see if you're getting the 20 or so amps that comes from each element on uh, most occasions in residential. If you see the 20 amps and you hear the click and it disappears, that means that limit switch is going, it's turning that circuit off because it's overheating inside of the supply airstream. And you may lose one element over and over again and may alternate between elements. Another way you can test when it's happening if you don't want to use amps, amps is uh, probably the easiest method. Set your voltmeter to volts before the system starts. You can put your clamps here and here, and you should have zero volts. If that switch opens up during the cycle, you'll then get 240 volts, so you'll know which circuit it is. Amps is a little bit easier because you can just go ahead and put the clamp on it, but this will also tell you, just like when you're testing a sequencer to see if it's bad, you can get a voltage reading whenever it's open.